stage is none other than Philip. Make some noise. seconds for my heart to slow down. Time keep keep the time. <clears throat> the traveler's path was perilous for average cats. He carried a backpack which contained a double-edged axe. He roamed the wastelands in the darkest of days where many had forsaken and even forgotten the way. He was from one of the five tribes who were given the truth to preserve through an art that they kicked as the proof he drank from. Eternal streams below the earth where water was clean. On the surface, nothing was all that it seemed. Hordes of marauding warlords were out looking for wealth. A and our scouts found those who weren't moving in stealth. Brainwashed, they were sent out to steal from their own. Using the sacred art, they wasted the ink for the poems. They took the blue pigment, mixed it with the blood of their victims to make dream, which was worshipped in this time that they lived in. He had arisen for this mission to inspire the vision of small communities of people who required the spitting of a sayer. He was one of the last of the tribe. When he approached, people shouted that a master's arrived and they would bring out the boom bap, giving him the rhythm to begin to spill out all the epics that he had written. He spoke of history and of the future, interweaving words, dancing on his tongue that would leave the people dreaming. Yeah. Not in a sleep state, but spiritually awakened. The future theirs for the taking. And then he would move on before dawn, couldn't stay for too long. His job done when the ones he encountered grew strong. This was his calling carving out kings from slaves and he survived off their love and the gifts they gave the world had seen many changes over the ages like it was dying in his heart he was hoping to save it they had known the path they chosen him when he was born his heart beat matched the drum he would later be speaking on he had arrived on the planet in dangerous times when masses were blinded by these liars faking the rhyme so began his journey like the ancients known as the griots he met imprisoned minds and he chanted rhymes to free those. It was long since he had met a clan of his peeps, but today he could hear beatbox in the east. There were six masters in a circle and each spoke free, tapping into this realm that they had breached. One man covered his mouth as he gave him the beat. So he approached and said, peace, and he started to speak. The ancient ritual of the cipher was complete. Each was celebrated because every style was unique. They lost track of time. It lasted three hours or more. But they were stronger now, replenished, not tired at all. After, they broke bread and with these separate ways, he roamed alone till the end of his days, the sail.